Welcome to a very special video all the way from New York where I'll be taking you to 11 bakeries and trying something from each bakery. I really hope you're going to enjoy this as I've put in a lot of time and effort to make this video. Um, so get ready for a delicious journey. I've been wanting to do this for so long. So super, super excited about this. Starting the trip with a drink. I'm going to start the bakery tour tomorrow. I just want to say I have saved the best bakeries for the last. So you might want to watch this till the end. Enjoy. So I've arrived at my hotel, which is inside by Melia. And I chose this hotel because of its location and it looks amazing. I love the interiors. It's super clean and sleek and it's right in the heart of the city. So as I'm planning to walk around everywhere, this would be the perfect location for me uh, to stay at. And uh, just here, and I'm taking you straight to my room, which has got some amazing views of the city. Um, so this is fantastic. Uh, and I've sat here and spent a lot of time in the few days I have been here. Love a beautiful artistic lift. Look at uh, the artwork in here. So I'm here for a week and I'm starting the week with right intentions by visiting the gym. And I've never seen a gym with better views than this. Look at the views from this gym right here. About to go on this fantastic little um, kind of hunt for some amazing bakeries in town. So I've got some recommendations from uh, lovely people on Instagram. Some bakers from UK have given me some recommendations. Uh, and I have got a very long list, but I want to stick with 10 or 11 bakeries. Um, and I'm just going to go and buy one or one kind of one of their best looking things on their uh, in their shop and I will report back and let you know what I think of those bakes but something tells me it's going to be a delicious and fantastic journey and I thought I will share this whole thing with you the first stop is the Magnolia Bakery, which was made famous by a TV program. And I really wanted to go inside and see what the fuss was all about. It was really busy, which was a good sign. And they had uh, some nice looking cakes. Uh, nothing extraordinary, I thought, but uh, they were more classic looking cakes. And I got myself a slice of one of these. It looks pretty dry and not very exciting. It's okay. It's okay. It's not great. Hmm. I'm not sure. It's all right. I won't be going back there. So this is their vanilla cake with chocolate buttercream. My second bakery was Mazedar um, and it looks uh, quite good from outside. And they had a nice little selection of bakes. So they had cookies and a donut and some scones and uh, cakes as well. And they all looked quite inviting, to be honest. This is the banana cake from Mazedar. Hmm. Very soft and really um, crunchy on top because they've sprinkled sugar. This is okay. I like this one. And this is their banana bread. 
I did try and walk to all the bakeries because the weather was lovely and I am going now to my next stop which is my third bakery, Levain Bakery and this was recommended by uh, quite a few people when I did a poll and it was a bit busy inside uh, a lot of people in the queue and again uh, they had uh, a few lovely bakes but uh, what stood out for me were their cookies smells amazing let's see proper chunky peanut bits in it oh it's good that is delicious oh. it's really dark chocolate but it's really sweet at the same time and it's really nutty and peanutty like it's got peanuts chunks in it oh i'm gonna sit down and finish this now hmm. and this is the chocolate peanut chip cookie another day and walking around new york i was walking towards times square actually and this was not a bakery that was on my list at all but i just was passing through it and i thought actually why not check it out so this is angelina and it had kind of cakes and savory things in sandwiches lots of uh, filled croissants and uh, what I loved is they, they had a really nice selection and I think it was a great stop for people passing by or tourists I guess. I also spotted some cannoli so I went for a pistachio one. A nice selection of ice creams as well. So uh, today I have got pistachio cannoli. Looks pretty good. Hmm. That's actually quite nice. You can really taste the pistachio in the cream and the outside bit. The shell is crispy. That is very good. Next day and uh, today I woke up really early and uh, headed to this kind of newish bakery called Mel and I wanted to go there early because I heard that uh, they sell out really really quickly and god look at that selection of bakes everything looked amazing absolutely amazing and they are very well known for their breads as well beautiful sourdoughs too so. mm. that is flaky light flaky the lemon is flavored with the tiniest bit of cardamom and it's got lemon poppy seed in the swirls. This is delicious. Oh my God, so, so good. Mm. Mm. Wonderful. And this is the poppy seed lemon danish. And a fun fact that the owner told me was just opposite uh, the bakery, there is this very old theater. You can see this white building, which is actually Charlie Chaplin's old theater. And there's another theater on the side here. 
and um, they are not being used at the moment uh, but they look stunning and from there i move on to my next text destination <laughs> This is Ovenly in Brooklyn and they had a lovely selection of bakes. This came highly recommended and I tried quite a few things and you can look at my plates here of beautiful bakes. This lovely cupcake. Mm. Oh. There is absolutely delicious. It's not too sweet. It's not too rich. It's got like a salty, like a sea salt finish. It is chocolatey. Ah, oh, it's really, really good. These are their Brooklyn Blackout Cupcakes. Uh, I think that's the only time I took the subway to go to Brooklyn. And there was some pretty fun subway entertainment too. Next stop is Fan Fan Donuts, which was so highly recommended that I had to make this trip to Brooklyn. And they do this amazing selection of donuts and each of them looked better than the other. And I could not choose which one I would like to try. The donut is so light. Oh, that is one of the most delicious donuts I've ever had. That is stunning. This is their chocolate chopped churros donuts and they make all the toppings themselves as well. On to the next bakery and finally after days of being here the sun is shining bright and beautiful and I'm stopping at Kosar's which is a really old uh, bagel shop and uh, it was busy and the choice of bagels and the choice of fillings everything looked fantastic these are all the fillings for the bagels. It was really busy in there with lots of uh, amazing choices and I went for the Delancey which is the white fish salad, jalapeno, cream cheese, pickled onion and look at that. I had to throw in a savory bake so yep. Mm. Super salty. That's good. That is good. It is unusual, but I'm just not a big fan of bagels. I eat them, I like them, but I don't I would not go out of my way to find them, buy them, or even make them. So I love the filling. It's delicious. Um but I would have enjoyed it equally in a white bread. So yeah, it is quite nice. Mm. 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 Next stop was Donut Plant. A lot of people on Instagram recommend this this to me and I went in and they had a nice selection of uh, donuts and I went for the coffee cake I was not expecting a filling inside these donuts that is a Big surprise. Mm. That is a proper coffee cake flavor. 
and actually the donut is not like a bready dough which usually it is it is actually cake like so it's lighter and um, it's delicious I love coffee flavor it is delicious but I was expecting a donut and I, I think it's a kind of cake but whatever it is it is really good this is their coffee cake donut Next morning, I headed to a bakery that came recommended and it was supposed to open at 10 o'clock. I was there at 10, 10 and the queue outside spoke volumes and inside the selection was just amazing. They had croffins, croissants, donuts. I could not make up my mind what I wanted. I really would have liked to try one of everything they had on offer, uh, but I went for two, three things from here. This is the Super Moon Bakehouse. I have shared one bake from each bakery with you guys, but every stop I had, I tried more than one bakes, maybe two or three, uh, a cake, a cookie, and a, like a kind of pastry, whatever they were offering. So, but I, I've shared only one with you because otherwise it'll get too many and too much. So, um, but this bakery I stopped at, I am sharing two of those bakes only because this is just so beautiful it's too pretty to even cut into and this is their blueberry croissant absolutely stunning and i just want to show you the inside because i don't know what is inside as well oh whoa wow Wow. Dear Lord. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. That is just mind-blowing absolutely mind-blowing unbelievable not only a pretty thing to look at but it's got substance it's um, as delicious as it actually looks and this is their Ferrero Rocher uh, Cruffin Oh my God, it's good. That is unbelievable. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> the pastry outside is so flaky. The cream inside is stunning. That is awesome. I have to turn the camera off and eat this all in a very messy way because it is delicious and this is how my hotel room table is looking currently after visiting 10 whole bakeries with the stuff that i brought back from each bakery and everything is fantastic i have got one last stop let me take you to the last bakery stop now. I am at my last uh, bakery stop, which is the Peter Pan Donut and Pastry Shop. And um, as you can see, just from the outside, their offering of uh, donuts is very vast. The selection looks amazing. And I'm going right in and going to see which one I would like to try. So luckily I went with a few friends and we decided we'll take a box of 12 different donuts so that we can try as many as possible. Okay. 
don't know which one to go for. I'm gonna go for the plain. Oh, it's good. Oh my God. The plain one. I'm going to try the toasted coconut. Mm. It's light and tastes of what it says it tastes of. So that's a good thing. Red velvet. They're good donuts. And that, my friends, is a wrap to my bakery trip to New York. Hope you have enjoyed this. And my absolute favorite was the Supermoon Bakehouse and Mel Bakery. So if you are there and if you can visit, then definitely do. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you with another new recipe very soon. Bye for now.